Now it was a huge day of testimony in the trial of former Minneapolis police officer Mohammed Noor. Noor's partner on duty with him at the time Justine Ruzchek Damon was shot took the stand today. Carol Evans Lou Ragus was in the courtroom and joins us now with what he had to say. Lou? Julie, Officer Matthew Harity felt more like a witness for the defense than for the prosecution, testifying that he was scared when he heard a thump and Justine Ruzchek Damon surfaced at his window. But then prosecutor Amy Sweezy reminded him of his uh, testimony at the grand jury where she asked, why didn't you shoot? And he answered, because I didn't know what the target was. You can't just fire at a silhouette. She finished by asking him with that said, whether using deadly force would have been premature. And he said yes with what I had. On the witness stand, Officer Matthew Harity, Mohammed Noor's partner, describes driving into the alley behind Justine Ruzchek Damon's home with his headlights off to look for signs of a person in distress. Why didn't you turn on your body camera? Prosecutor Amy Sweezy asked. We didn't have a policy stating we needed to, so I didn't feel it was needed at that time, Harity answered. Harity said he suspected the noises Ruzchek reported were just kids hollering. But Harity said he took the safety off his gun holster because, quote, every call I consider a threat until it's not a threat anymore. I'm going to do everything to make sure I go home to my family. After reaching the end of the alley without finding anything, Harity said, I hear something hit the car. Then I hear a murmur. That's when I start reaching for my firearm. Harity testified he had his own gun out and pointed down and couldn't make out whether the figure at his window was a man or woman or had anything in her hands. Then Nor fired. Although Harity said he didn't know the shot came from him at first. Prosecutor Sweezy asked Harity who would have had the better view of the figure at the window, Harity in the driver's seat or Nor in the passenger seat. Harity said, I'd like to think I did, but I can't speak for his view. Now, while being cross-examined, defense attorney Peter Wold asked Harity if he felt his life was in danger, and he answered at the time, yes. And today we watched body camera video from both Officer Harity and Officer Knorr. Just absolutely gut-wrenching to watch. In uh, Knorr's video, you can hear him admit to one other officer that he was the one who shot. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Lou. We will continue to bring you the latest in this trial on our Care 11 social media pages and care11.com.